Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Rahul Automation Studio. So guys, in this video, I'm going to explain you that one problem that we are facing with our Chrome browser. If we have updated our Chrome browser to the latest one, and if we're using the Selenium Maven dependencies, Selenium jar files as a four point some different version related to the Selenium 4. And in that case, if you see, we are adding the Chrome browser specific driver as well, but still we are not able to launch uh, our particular URL in the browser. So we are, it is throwing me a Chrome error for that, right? So it is throwing some web socket error for me. So how we can resolve that? So if we see our Chrome browser version, so it is the latest one, like triple one dot zero dot five 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 six three. So it is the updated and it is the latest one. And if we have downloaded the Chrome driver specific to that, so generally we download the specific browser and we have to download the driver for the same so if you have downloaded this six four the triple one this one and the same is there and if we are using 4.1.3 so still we are not able to execute our test case in the chrome browser so let's create one example for that so we will be creating a one class for uh, selenium chrome error okay let's Create, include main method in that we will create one simple example to see what is the error that we are facing with our updated browser and our selenium 4 so let's copy this code i have the code is there to launch it so here i'm using system.set property i'm using the chrome driver here and have defined the Chrome driver property and the path for my Chrome driver.exe. In the Chrome driver here, I'm using the latest one, so which is the triple one dot zero dot five five six three dot six four. So I'm using same because my browser version is the triple one. So I have to use the updated Chrome driver and I'm using the same here. And in my pom.xml file, I'm using the Selenium Java as a four version. So <clears throat> let's see what error it is throwing with the updated Chrome browser. And here, if we see the web driver space, so this web driver we have to import from the Selenium. And after that, if we write down driver.get, and in the get, if we open some website, HTTPS, and we can use www.google.com, right? So if we try to run this test case, what you will see, it is opening the browser, but it is not able to load this URL in the Chrome browser. So it is throwing me some web socket errors to me. You can see this browser has been launched, but it is not opening the URL inside that. Until my URL is will not launch, I will not be able to proceed with my test case. And if we see the error, what the error it is throwing? So it is throwing me some connection error that I'm unable to establish the web socket connection, right? And uh, some invalid status is throwing to me related to some web sockets. It is not throwing any error related to the web driver that I'm using the different web driver and not specific to the browser specific. So it is not throwing me that such kind of error and no Selenium error is there. It is a connection issue between the web driver and uh, with our web Selenium, right? So how we can resolve this error? So to resolve this error, guys, there are two ways that we can resolve the error. So I will show you both the ways one by one. So first option was first way is we can use the Chrome options. So everyone knows that there is some Chrome options settings are there that we can use. So let me see. I will create the object of this. Okay. And uh, let me give some name to the variable. Okay, I have created this. Now I have to import this Chrome options. So we have to import this Chrome options from the Chrome Selenium. This control is. And after this, for this particular object, we have to add one argument. Okay. So we have to start add argument. And in our argument, you have to use one property. Okay. That is the property name is remote allow origin. So it will allow all the remote origins for you and you have to give a star there for that. The value for this, you have to give it a star there. Okay, once you are setting our Chrome options, you have to pass this Chrome options object 
inside a Chrome driver class when we are creating the object of a Chrome driver class. So this is the Chrome option settings that you have to do if you are facing this WebSocket error in your latest Selenium uh, web driver or your Selenium browser, Chrome browser, right? So just do the control S and let's try to run this test case now. And now you will see it will be able to launch my Chrome browser and it will be able to load the particular URL. So you can see now Google is opening for me in my Chrome browser and now my test case will be executed. And you can see there is no error this time in my console and it is working fine for me. So this is the one way that you can resolve and maybe in the upcoming latest uh, browser driver, so Chrome driver, they will fix uh, this particular uh, error and maybe they have missed to test it before the release. So they will fix it in the upcoming version. And another way that I want to show you that uh, how you can resolve this error. So you can remove it from here and the in the pom.xml file, so if you are using 4.1.3 or maybe the any Selenium 4 version. So if you will go to the Selenium Maven dependencies. So let's go there. And if you are using any of uh, the Selenium 4, 4.1.0 or any version of Selenium 4, you will be facing this error. So what we can do, we can use the Selenium 3 in place of Selenium 4 and we can resolve this error. So we can use 3.141.59, okay? So we can use this in our SNZ.xml file and let's see, this is the second way that we can use. So this error guys, we are not facing with Selenium 3. This error we are facing only with our Selenium 4. So this is how you can resolve it. Just do the control S. Once you will do the control S, you can check your Maven dependencies and Maven dependencies, you can see it is 3.14. 14.1 this dot jar is there right and now let's try to run our test case so we are not using chrome options we have commented the line of code for that and just click on run edge java application and now you can see still i'm it is able to open the google for me and it is not throwing any error for me so guys there are two ways that uh, you can resolve this error so you can work on your chrome scripts and you can execute a test cases in the Chrome browser. So this is how you can resolve this error. So thanks all. Thank you all. Thanks. Bye.